Well, we've got must-see TV tonight on ABC, a new show, Blackish, starring Anthony Anderson, Tracy Ross, Diana Ross's daughter. Oof. And basically it's about a family who's achieved success, a black family, achieved achieve the American dream, yet their three children don't really understand their roots and their background, that being black. So this is going to be a pretty funny one. Take a listen to the sound bite right here. I want to have a bar mitzvah. Oh. And before you say anything, I know we're not Jewish, but Zach knows a rabbi who's great at pushing through conversion, so. Hold on. So you'd be willing to forsake your own religion to have a party? Short answer, yes. Now, I, Doug, I think, this is, I think this is great because it's clearly a show f for black people to watch and for black people to get involved in. It's diversifying network television, which I think is great. This show has a lot of potential. Can they achieve what we hope it achieves, which is not just the clear stereotypes, we like fried chicken, we like watermelon, and all those stupid jokes, but will it touch on the more modern day things that a successful black person or black family has to deal with? To me, it's, it's refreshing to see something like this with all the Real Housewives of Atlanta and love and hip hop exactly. and all that foolishness on TV. It's refreshing to be able to see that because a lot of black people are tired of being represented like that on television. If you're a 13-year-old black, a white kid growing up in America, you didn't see the Cosby Show or a Different World. You saw Real Housewives of Atlanta. You saw people acting like <laughs> you fools saw on BET. So you haven't seen TV like this. So it'll be good yeah. for them to see that black people do live in the suburbs. Yeah, that, 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 that house next door to you with those black people in, this is what they go through when they shut their door at night. You'll be able to see that. I like that. Well, you make a great point. This Blackest show isn't the first to touch on black life and how we perceive it through a TV screen. It's been done before. There's been some great shows Absolutely. before that have starred black people, and it's been about black life. You got three of your favorites, don't you? I do, man. Three of my favorite all time growing up. Let's start from the bottom, number three. Start Gotta be good bottom. times. I filmed right here in Chicago. Listen, I used to live in the hood when I was a little kid until we moved to the suburbs. So I understood what this was like. This show resonated. It wasn't on when I was a kid, but I remember watching reruns. Only thing I didn't Book like them. about this show is that every two steps they took forward, man, they took like 50 back. They could never get out of the hood. We got out of the hood, they couldn't. <laughs> Different world, number two, man. Great show. This show made me want to go to an HBCU. If you don't know what that means, that means historically black college and university. You should be watching our show if you don't know what I that was means. in love with Jasmine Guy. He took my girl, man. Her get voice your, was so get annoying. Get your hands off my woman. I wanted me a Jasmine Guy. That's why I wanted to go to Hillman and find me a Jasmine Guy. But number one, I mean, is there even any question? No question. The Cosby Show. Greatest show ever. I was raised on this show. I used to get teased. I was called a Cosby kid when I was in high school. People teased me, but you know what though? That's a compliment. I had a good parents. I came from a good home. They did the best they could with me. I think I turned out aight. Those are three, three very good ones. Yeah. Like, I got three of my own here. It's not just your show, so I get some input here. I'm gonna start with my first one, In Living Color. Everybody uh -huh. knows oh, Saturday yeah. Night Live you and that all those me. variety shows, but uh -huh. this one was for us. And this one had a lot of star power. You remember Dana yeah. Wayne's and all his homie the clown? He made Jim Carrey. You had ha the handyman, the, the, the handicapped superhero. This was before <laughs> you had to be politically correct. Right, this was right. on Fox. I mean, this was a big show. It was great. My next best show is the Fresh Pe yes, Prince sir. of Bel-Air. Yes, I mean, sir. this is where Will Smith became his crossover appeal. Everybody knew him as the rapper, but then he got out on there and was acting a fool with this show that had a great run. I loved him, but I also loved the Carlton dance. Oh, yeah. You had Hillary, who I had a big crush oh, on coming bad. up. You watch G DJ Jazzy Jeff getting thrown out of the house Ashley, by Uncle Phil. Ashley. Can't forget about oh, Ashley. Man. That was just a great show. And then number one, I think every black man between the oh, ages yeah. of 30 to 45 had to really love this show coming up because it showed you that Black people aren't just out there misbehaving, yep. but they could actually have a family life that you'd want to achieve. And I envisioned myself growing up in that home yeah. and having a family like that. Luckily, I was one of the lucky black men who did have a family like that. But you aspired to be that when Absolutely. you watch that show for those hours on end. So Love that show. Blackish, you got a lot to live up to. Can you do it? We'll see. But me and Doug Chapman, we'll be tuning in tonight for sure.